Welcome back guys, moving on to the next question. We gotta take these two lines here, find where they're intersecting using the method of elimination, and then we gotta verify our solution. So we got three X equals 18 plus four Y, and we got nine X plus three Y plus six is equal to zero. Now, when we're doing elimination, first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that both lines are in the same format. So notice here for this second line, everything is on the left side versus here for this first line, it's a mix. There's some stuff on the left side, then there's some stuff on the right side. So you wanna line them up properly. So the way I'm gonna do that, uh, you know what? I'll just bring everything to the left side for this line. So this line here, what I'm gonna do, three X stays as is. This four Y I'm gonna bring over, so that'll be minus four Y, and then the 18 I'm gonna bring over. That would be minus 18. And that's gonna equal, there's gonna be a zero left over there. So now notice everything is lined up properly. You didn't have to do it like this necessarily. We could have also took this line and put in this format. So kept the nine X here and then brought the six over, the three Y over to make it in this format. We could have also maybe brought the negative four Y over and then bring the positive six over. So all the constants are on the right side, all the variables are on the left side. So it doesn't really matter as long as it's the same format for both lines. And then from here, what you wanna do is you wanna see, you wanna try to uh, manipulate these lines somehow where we can get rid of a variable. So either the Y or either the X. Now, if we wanna get rid of the X, I feel like that's gonna be more simple than the Y because notice we just have to multiply this whole line by three to get this three X to be nine X and then nine X minus nine X would be zero versus here to get this and this to be the same. We would have to multiply this by four to get this to 12 Y and then this by three to get it to negative 12 Y. And then we could add both lines. The Y's would net out to zero. So we would have to do two multiplications Versus with the X, we only have to do one multiplication. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this line and multiply everything by three. So if I, let's keep track of the lines here. So this is line one, this is line two, and then this here is line one, just rearranged. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rewrite line two. This is still line two. And now I'm gonna rewrite line one, but now I'm gonna multiply everything by three. So three times three X gives us nine X. Three times negative four Y gives us minus 12 Y. Three times negative 18 would give us negative 54. And then three times zero gives us zero. You gotta make sure you multiply everything on the left side, everything on the right side. And now what we could do is we could subtract these lines from each other. We could take this line, this is still line one over here, we can uh, subtract them, so then the nine X's, notice that they are gonna net out to zero. Nine X minus nine X is zero. Three Y minus negative 12 Y, right? Three Y minus negative 12 Y would be like three Y plus 12 Y, which would give us positive 15 Y. Then we'll have six minus negative 54. This negative here, we gotta distribute throughout the whole line, so we'll have six minus negative 54, which would be like six plus 54. So that would end up being positive 60, and then zero minus zero, that's still just zero. And now notice we have an equation in terms of one variable, so 15y equals negative 60, divide both sides by 15, y would be negative four. So that's part of the solution. Now to solve for X, we can just take this Y value, plug it into any of the lines. I'm gonna plug it into this first line. So we'll have three X equals 18 plus four times, sorry, this should be, oh yeah, it is negative four. Like that, right? This is a minus four here. Uh, yeah, so we'll have three X equals 18. Now four times negative four, that's negative 16. 18 minus 16 is two, divide both sides by three, X is two over three. So the final solution to everything is two over three for X and then negative four for Y. That is the point 
at which both of these lines intersect. Now, if we were to check our solution, we would just rewrite both lines, plug in the x and y, and just make sure the left side equals the right side. 9x plus 3y plus 6 equals 0. Those are the first lines. Those are the two lines that we started with. So we would have 3 times 2 over 3, 18 plus 4 times negative 4. So notice 3 times 2 over 3, that would be like 6 over 3, which would give us 2. Or these 3s cancel out. We're just left with a 2 up top. This would be 18 minus 16, 2 equals 2. Left side equals right side. And over here, we would have 9 times 2 over 3 plus 3 times negative 4 plus 6 equals 0. 9 times 2 over 3 would give us 6, right? Or 9 times this like 9 over 1. 9 times 2 is 18. 1 times 3 is 3. 18 over 3, 6. Um, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 plus 6. Notice 6 plus 6 is 12 minus 12, 0. So 0 equals 0. So notice we verified it with both lines. Left side equals right side. So 2 over 3, negative 4, that's the final answer.